We're going to move on to blood type, and this is beyond Mendelian genetics because uh, Mendelian genetics assumes every inheritable trait is on its own individual chromosome, independent assortment, and that just doesn't happen. There's so many things that are inherited, and we only have so many chromosomes, so it just makes sense that um, there's multiple alleles on a single chromosome, and they get carried together. Uh, so here's a here, here's a great picture I think will help you with this. So there are really, this is a multiple allele thing. There's, there's three different alleles for your blood type group. So you have what's called the dominant I allele, and the dominant I allele could carry either the A allele, so you have IA or IB, or maybe you have the recessive version of the I allele and you don't carry either A or B. So you have several combinations then. You can have IA, which will produce this nice little um, antigen on the surface of your red blood cells, A antigens, or you could have IB, which would then, your red blood cells would have these B antigens on the surface. Um, you could have I, A, and I, B, and then you'd have both types of antigens. So you'd be type A, B blood. The only way to be type O is if you have the recessive little I, little I, meaning there's no way you can produce either A or B antigens on the surface of your red blood cells. So you don't have any. And we'll talk about why that's important later. Let's just do the genetics right now. So that is kind of cool. You might want to pause and jot down some notes about that or just find your own picture on Google. All right, so here we go. Let's talk about the genetics of this then. So in a disputed paternity case, a woman with type B blood, okay, has a child with type O blood. Flashback. Type O blood right there, right? Okay. Um, she claims that it had been fathered by a man with type A. Is that possible? Is this really the daddy? Explain your answer. Okay. So the mom is type B, but all that means is that she has the B antigens on the surface of her red blood cell. We don't know for sure if she's homozygous or heterozygous, right? So I do not love the um, the Google thing here, but I'm going to try to like just, sorry, I'm going to put it at the bottom. I hope that makes sense. I know it's usually at the top, but um, so there is, so she could be this, right? Um, where she is homozygous for the B, or she could be this. I'm just not going to do that again. So let me see if I can copy and paste this. She could be where she has one dominant IB allele. Um, it looks like that whole thing is small, huh? There we go. Um, but the second one could be just a little lowercase i, right? So this, she could be this. She could be... Uh, what we say, heterozygous. Whoops, I need to make this one bigger. This is kind of a pain on Google. I really don't like it. All right, but you get the idea. So she is homozygous for producing the B alleles, or she is heterozygous. And again, just having the one dominant IB alleles would produce the antigens on the surface of red blood cell, even though she's a carrier for the recessive. We don't know. She just has type B blood. And she is saying the daddy is type A. So same situation. Um, the dad could be homozygous or heterozygous. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and throw in some A's. So the dad could be either um, type A homozygous for the multiple alleles or heterozygous and just is hiding this little eye. So is it possible that a woman with type B blood and a father with type A blood could have a child with type O? Um, it's possible, right? Uh, only in one condition though. They must both be heterozygous, right? 
So here is the only way that could possibly happen, but it is possible. Mom is this, and so she would have, at the end of meiosis, she would have the gametes for type B blood and the recessive one. And then the dad, of course, would have to be heterozygous as well. Okay. And then when you do the Punnett square, of course, you would get um, the possibility of a baby type O. So I'm going to do that really fast for you. Okay, so you know how this works by now. We're going to put the mom's possible um, gametes on top and dad. So she's either this, if she's heterozygous, right? She could have, uh, she could. She would have gametes for type B blood, um, and then she would also have gametes for type O blood, and then the dad would be the same way. So maybe this, and I apologize with the letters at the bottom, but you know, traditionally they're at the top, or he could be this, and then yeah, uh, they could. It's a one in four possibility, but this would be I A. And IB, oh, this is so annoying. I do not like Google. Copy. And so this this would, they could have a, a type AB baby, blood type baby. <laughs> um, or they could have, um, well, here's what we're looking for right there. This is the one in four chance of having a baby. They could actually have all four blood types, which is kind of crazy because this would be, the I, A, and the I, right? So they could have a baby that's A, B, they could have a baby that's A, they could have a baby that's B, and they could have a baby that's um, O, if they're both heterozygous. So yeah, it's possible.